if we didn't inspire criticism, we'd be doing something wrong. Because it, it, it would mean that we weren't doing anything that had potential to change the world. They're still out there in, in a fairly virulent form of the perception that we're a kind of hippie hoedown slash drug fest slash orgy. I didn't come here to work for Burning Man per se. I, I was hired to, to uh, revamp the ranch. And I had been to the event, and personally, I wasn't all that taken by it. So I would ask a bunch of people within the organization, what is it? Is, what does it mean to you? Is it just a party? Is it a livelihood? You know. And there was a common response of changing the world. And, and of course, my response is, well, how? How are you changing the world? You're throwing a party. How does that change anything? You could drive into San Francisco and hit the Tenderloin and think that San Francisco was about crack, right? People in every city, when they celebrate, they, they do their thing, they get their drink on, whatever. But that's not all that's happening there. Um, and th those things are personal choices, but if you took all that stuff away from Black Rock City, I still think that there would be a lot of amazing, amazing things happening. By the second year that I was out here, I came to my own definition. And I think everybody has to come to their own definition of meaning in anything. Um, so for me, it was, it was, yeah, there's, there's a lot of a party aspect to it, and yet there is a lot of creative self-expression that's going on out there that you don't see anywhere else. Burning Man provides a connection to an artistic freedom that our normal, everyday life suppresses. Through commodification, through commercialism, through many of the things that we don't allow in Black Rock City. If you go to Black Rock City, your money's not really worth anything there. What we do do is, is encourage gifting. That encourages a sense of love and compassion towards your fellow human being. Let's come on in. Let's go, brother. Happy birthday. The fact that 50,000 people have gathered together and say, hey, what do you need? Oh, I can get you that. No, 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 no charge. You know, that's value. That then breaks down other barriers that allow people to communicate on a level that's much greater than in your everyday life. I think when people are taken out of their own uh, habits of living, they're able actually to see life differently. They're open to experiencing new things and trying new things. And sometimes people say, you know, they can't go back to the way they were because they've, in a sense, like gone through a door. Who can really say why, when you have had something affect you deeply, spiritually, why it sustains? When you go home from Burning Man, a lot of people report a phenomenon that they call decompression, where you return to the real world and it seems such a brutal place compared to Black Rock City, where you're walking down the street and every stranger smiles at everyone else and you might give a gift to someone that you've not even said hello to yet and your interactions are very, very different than they are in the real world. The desert is really in control, and there is nothing that's ever assured. You never are assured of what the weather's going to be like or what might be floating by, that you really must take care of yourself. It is a place where responsibility for virtually everything is driven all the way down to an atomic level. So if you make garbage, it ends up at your feet. Leave No Trace has manifested itself as now a cultural value. It's an expression of radical self-reliance, radical responsibility. Some of the other types of events that go on on public lands now use some of the criteria that we developed over time. They follow the principle that there shouldn't be more than about a square foot of debris laid out flat per acre. And we developed a technique called a transect, which is a, we, we basically line people up arm's length apart and walk an acre and pick up every minutia that's there. The formula seems to be good, it's working, and it also seems to be working through a period of growth. Since we persisted and since we survived, we are and will eventually be judged by the fruits of, of our effort, by what we do. So it's not a matter of image making and PR, it's, it's, it's a matter of just getting real information out there in the world. Yeah.